experiences. So I hope <laughs> I hope uh, not too many more of this type. S. J. Tomasin says that is a good question. Can science explain morality? Is our USJ morality grounded in an explanation explained by evolution? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I always point out like this, like evolution would tell you like how you came, like, you know, how like moral things develop, but it wouldn't tell you why you ought to continue doing it. Right, right. That's That's kind of what I'm saying. That's right. Yeah, I mean, it would be like, you know, Science could tell you that if a population just starts killing each other, they're not going to survive. Right. But it wouldn't be able to tell you, oh, why ought you not kill that person? Well, it also wouldn't tell you why you shouldn't kill members of another group who are also human. In other words, if, if you know, I, I, even Richard Dawkins, who has promoted this uh, idea strongly, has said that the reason that uh, we feel it's immoral to kill anyone, not just members of our own group, is because evolution, is, he calls it a spandrel. It was um, an evolutionary uh, change that, that sort of took over and got extended out of control. But there's something also very important to say about evolution, which I should say now, and that's a scientific issue. And that is evolution, it's not simply natural selection, okay? It's not if if it's if you do better with something that you'll then you'll uh, then that will be what you eventually evolve to do. It also involves when we talk about biological evolution, it involves changes in the genes. It involves mutation. It involves um, genetic drift. It involves all kinds of various mutational effects. And those things take a huge amount of time to spread in the population. I'll give you an example. One place where we're still evolving is the ability to drink milk. Uh, at this point, I don't remember what the percentage is. I think it's a little bit more than half of the human population can drink milk as adults. Uh, and it's true in some areas of the world and less true in other areas of the world. And it's slowly spreading. It will eventually take over the population. But it probably started 20,000 years ago or more, and it's taking that long, that just simple change in, in diet to spread through the population. And that's the rate at which evolution progresses very, very slowly. We are talking about incredibly complex behaviors, which is not just one gene, as in the case of actually milk is more than one gene, too. It's also very complicated. But when we're talking about behaviors like, you know, being kind and being, you know, generous and all these very complicated emotional behaviors, that's not going to evolve genetically in a few thousand years. That's going to that's going to take a million years to evolve. And we don't have any evidence that that was true. You know, a million that that, that thing started a long time ago. So I, it, I don't it, like it's, it's cheating to really say this is all evolution. It really doesn't work. I just go for it. <laughs> Self. <clears throat> G. 